So uh, my name is uh, Misha Klimov, and right now I'm a teacher at Chivonki, our uh, main course semester program. I'm teaching French there. Well, I'm a foreign language teacher. I, I taught Russian in Richmond High School in French and taught Russian at Bowen College. And I'm originally from Kazakhstan, from the Soviet Union. Well, I was born in, I always say, I was born in the country that doesn't exist, but the Soviet Socialist Republic of Kazakhstan. When I was eight, my family moved to Ukraine, where I spent most of my life. And we moved to the United States in 2000. We lived in Maine. I met Samantha Smith, well, not in person, but uh, I got acquainted with her in 1983 when she came to the Soviet Union. She was invited by uh, Secretary General of the Communist Party at the time, Yuri Andropov. So she, everybody knows her story, at least my generation, because uh, she was like beyond famous. We were all in love with her. She won our hearts and minds. I was born in 1972, just like Samantha Smith. And when she came to the Soviet Union, she was uh, 10 at the, at the time, I believe, but we were like 11. So it was a big event and we were watching every step and it was quite publicized in the Soviet Union. And she was on TV. We need to understand that Soviet Union at the time, our sources of information were very limited. And uh, it was, we only had two channels. And so she would appear in the like news or there will be special programs about her visits to Artek, the, this Soviet camp. So we were just mesmerized, just such a beautiful girl, very spontaneous, very genuine, very sincere. To me, it was uh, like we, we were just like American people, the kind of victims of anti-Soviet propaganda. And we were the same way, like what she wrote in the letter, we were writing the same kind of letters, like why? Why do you want to conquer the world? Why the U USA wants uh, war? And so it was like really, I imagine that, that Samantha had the same mindset about Soviet Union as that I had about the United States. So it was the, she's uh, this girl who is very articulate and bright. It opened my eyes to kind of like the, the different United States. I started looking at the United States from a different angle. She really sparked my interest in the United States. And I started to understand more, like kind of she opened my, my mind. And I, I'm sure like minds of many other uh, Soviet children. And we were always very interested in what's going on. So like she became a star. And uh, when she died two years after her visit, we were devastated. I remember I was crying and it was just like the almost the end of the world. And for, for us, it was uh, because our sources of information were so, as I said, limited. It's like this visit was such a bright event. I don't know, it's like, just, wow, uh, something different. Some, and it's the first time she, they visited Kremlin and you know the Americans were invited. It's a very nice family. Uh, this uh, girl who was so easygoing and she would do everything with the other kids. And Samantha Smith, was, I think it was much bigger for the Soviet people her visit. For us, like that's what I'm... I want to stress that it was like really big event. So in 2000, we moved to the United States and my son was in second grade. We lived in Booth Bay Harbor and he had a very nice teacher, Mrs. Cook. She was, was educating the kids in this in second grade because he was from, you know, he came from Ukraine and she was so good about it. And then she, she thought it would be a good idea if I could share. She did something about Soviet Union or Cold War, I don't know. Uh, and she asked me if I would be interested and willing to share my experience about my Soviet childhood. And so I started thinking about it and I thought, oh, Samantha Smith, she was from the United States. I went to the library and I find the book and I'm looking, oh, she, she is from Maine. And I was like, wow, that was like such a moment. Or oh, uh, there is a monument of her in Augusta. So I borrowed these books and I, so I'm thinking like, well, that will, I will show them that she is my age. And that's how like she, she came to the Soviet Union. And that's how the life in the Soviet Union was. We were pioneers. We were brainwashed. And through her, I really like looked at myself through like kind of like how would she perceive us? I was surprised because it was so different. It was just, well, I, I kind of, sometimes I'm looking at like uh, North Korea and I, we would like, oh, North Korea, brand war skit. But I'm looking at myself like this footage of the, you know, we are wearing uniforms, like all the given salute, like the, the same as North Korea. But we, we totally didn't perceive ourselves that way. We were still, we were different. Like we were, but it, uh, to me, it was, Kind of like I was analyzing myself through her eyes. And I'm talking about some other thing. She's like, oh, her mother is my neighbor. In, uh, she lives in Boothbay. 
and it's like another you know, aha wow <laughs> moment so we it was like really good uh presentation there was a good energy it happened for, for a reason it's not so it's you know there is nothing happens by chance the kind of like, these kind of feelings i taught uh, french and russian in richmond high school and we we did the uh, like with my Russian class, I did some unit on the Soviet Union. Or, and I thought about uh, the, uh, Jane Smith, who still lived in Booth Bay. And I thought it would be great to invite her to talk to the students. So we, we had this uh, Samantha Smith project. And the students, like they had to call and organize everything. And they made it a DVD. And uh, so Jane came and the, the students prepared, asked her questions. And it was like the very special event. And like she gave me this uh, video recording of the visit. It's always for me, it's like some, well, first of all, it's nostalgic, you know, the past, the, just something that was really life changing for me. And as I said, that my interest in the United States was uh, sparked by Samantha Smith. And I, I started to, you know, read more. And maybe thanks to her, I decided to, we, we decided to move to the United States. Well, and the most recent this summer, I signed up for this workshop. I said, oh, Samantha Smith, she's still kind of like, you know, the people still talking about her and there is the, your organization. And, uh, and it's another like, I, oh, I have to sign up for that. Although it's middle school, I'm not teaching at middle school level, but I thought I was just so curious. And we had very good workshop, very good conversation. And now I'm giving you this interview. So I guess it was meant to happen. <laughs> Yeah, she really made a difference. It's uh, remarkable, this girl. She had this charisma. And I think it all, to me, it was meant to happen. And it's before 83, so the Soviet Union would collapse pretty soon. So th there was a fresh air of freedom she brought in. So there was some, like, it gave us also, it was the, also the height of the, you know, this period in the Soviet, they say the stagnation, you know, the Brezhnev died and then there's like, and there was, uh, people were, well, it, it was a decline. This uh, freedom that we were thirsty for, she represented for us, I think, you know, this it kind of like showed us that, or it gave this optimism. There was just uh, something special for sure.